In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter a brand new purchase order. To begin, you click the navigator button at the top, Adnams, Procurement, Non-Stock Procurement, and Enter and Revise Non-Stock Purchase Orders. From this screen, we click the green Add button, and the information at the top is the first part that we fill out. The first box is Supplier. You may already know the supplier number, in which case you can type that in here. I'll also show you how to search. This small magnifying glass to the right of the box will bring up the search options. For suppliers, we change the search type to a V. And again, we click the big search button here to bring up all of the suppliers on the system. You can navigate through by using these arrow buttons, either going to the next page or bringing up every single supplier that is on the system. You can scroll through. If you know the name of your supplier, you just type it into the name search bar. Click the search button here and it'll bring it up. So we select that by clicking the green tick. The next box is the ship to address. To search for the place where you want the purchase order to be sent to, again, click this small little magnifying glass to the right of the box. Change the search type this time to F for facilities and search. Bring them all up here. For this example, I'm going to choose the engineer's workshop. Select that, green tick. If you wanted to add any text to the order, you can also click order attachment. In here, you can click the text box, type in here. To save, we can click this button. To delete, you click the bin button. To cancel, you click the X. We're going to save. So now we need to actually add the item to the purchase order. So make sure that you have filled out all the information you need to at the top before you click in the item number box because it grays out and you're unable to edit it. So for this example, I'm going to show you how to add a free text item. So we can just type whatever item we are ordering into this item number box here. So we could be ordering for repairs, some, Spray paint. Description one, we could just type in some extra information. So for example, the job reference maybe. One, two, three, four. Description two could maybe be who the order's for. So put the name in there. Quantity orders, ordered is self-explanatory. So we can type that in, so order five. Account number is the GL code. So you should have a piece of paper which has got all the engineering account numbers or a spreadsheet. Today I'm going to choose the Engineers Workshop Repairs Expense GL code. So that's 10040135 The next box is Request Date. So we can click the small calendar next to the box. We could choose Tomorrow. This box here is for unit of measure, so it could be kg, litres. For this example, I'm going to choose each EA. The unit cost, you type in the next box, so let's do five pounds. And then the final bit that you need to fill out is the line type. And this is a J. Once you've completed, you click the row below. And it will work out the rest of the information and pre-populate pre-populate it, so the extended cost, etc. So to send the order to the supplier, you click, click the green tick there, and here is your order number, so 221. We exit out of this screen by clicking the red cancel button, and we click this button here, the search button, to bring up all of the orders that are on the system. You may already know the order number that you've just done, which is what we do. So it's 221, press the search button, and there's our order. So there is, you just want to double check that it is the right one. We've got the job reference, what it is that we're ordering. If we scroll further down, you can see the status is currently 230. This means that it needs authorization. So you may have 
been able to authorize it yourself, in which case you'll get an email in a minute, or it will be emailed off to a supervisor or manager to authorize that. So to complete the order and send it to supplier and authorization, you right click here, click print order. This will come up with your default printer. Click the green tick. And there we go. So that's been sent off by email to the supplier and to your authorizer if needs be. To check that it has been sent, we can click the find button to refresh, scroll across to the status, and that should have changed to 280, which means that it's been authorized. And that's complete. <laughs>